jumping right in i'm using a custom silver glitter mix i created myself i'm going to do a nombre using a soft white custom mix i also made and i'm going to make sure that i build up the soft white to my liking Moving on to the ring finger, I'm also going to use that soft white mix that I created again. <laughs> so sorry about my baby. He is very happy. If I upload this video today, which is Thursday, the 19th, you okay? Then that means his birthday will be tomorrow on the 20th and he will be turning one year old. Yay! So I'm going to build up the soft white again it's just easier to add clear to the white for me to be able to blend it better now you're going to see me coming in with the silver mix again and i'm going to create a 3d ornament for her she love <laughs> she love ornaments so i said let me go ahead and give her what she wanted because the client is always right not really but i did want to make her happy so i'm glad that i did it and it did come out looking somewhat nice i'll just have to practice more for next year and around that i'm going to add the color strut from glam and glitz as the blue covering it. coming in with the glitter mix again you guys are probably going to be tired of this by the end of the video oh you are wow you're supposed to be mama biggest supporter and i'm going to go over it with milk frosted white that is also a custom mix white by me i made this one a little bit more clear than white because I wanted it to look like as if it was trapped in snow or under snow. And it's a very beautiful color. I actually really like it. I will have to use this for milk bath nails or just a simple soft white milky set. Coming over the top of this soft white mix, I'm going to use Strut from Glam and Glitz. 
I'm going to gonna try to build <laughs> I'm going to try to build this color up as much as I can but not try to take away too much from the white. As you guys can hear, my baby said that he can do this voiceover better than me. So, yeah, mom life. <laughs> Are you done so I can push stop? I wonder how many people can relate. I have a dog in the background. My baby's in the background. Let me know in the comments if you can hear the fish tank in the background. <laughs> Just so much. So, yeah. Building up these colors to the likings of myself and the clients. Trying to make sure you don't see any of that yellow peeking through from the old set. Swiping on the sides. Now coming in with my nail file, you will see me redefining the shape of the ornament ball, trying to get it into as much of a perfect circle as I can for her. And I will go over it with clear again. I was going to finish by saying a little later, but someone interrupted our recording session by calling me. So, yes, I will. Uh, I'm going over it right now with clear again. And the clear is from Tones. I do like their clear. It's the best clear that I've worked with. But I also use Mia Secret. I'm a big fan of their clear as well. Now you see me coming in with the color strut again. Once again, it is from Glam and Glitz. I'm going around the ornament with that. And I'm going to move over to the next finger, her ring finger, to cap that ombre with tones clear. Lucky for you, you didn't have to wait a whole next day for me to finish this nail set. We had a family situation go on last night. Thankfully, everyone is okay. And so, today is the next day. She did break both of her thumbs because she is a school teacher. So, I will take that out of the video, but I did have to repair that. And so I'm basically just making sure that the fingers that I didn't get the cap and the rest of them are okay. So I'm still using the strut to go over that ornament. I don't want strut to cover it too much, even though it will be revealed when I use my e -film. But it's just trying to make it just a little bit easier on myself because with everything that was going on and being a mom and just trying to go around everyone's schedules, including my son's, making sure he get his nap. It's kind of hard. So. As you can see, I decided to add more blue to this nail, making sure that I don't cover the white still. But I am going to come in with a couple of the blue snowflakes that I got in a Filmo package from Amazon. I do not remember which Filmo package I got this from, but it was at a reasonable price and it did come quick. If you have trouble picking up your Filmo, you can... Um, Grab some clear acrylic on a little bead and then just add, just press it onto the snowflake and then press it onto the nail. Then I'm going in to cap right away. My filmo didn't have time to stick on the nail just yet, 
because I am using Glitter Bell's odorless monomer. With my son being in and out the room, this is just the um, least bad smelling monomer I have ever used. And I like it because it gives me more time to work with the nail and I don't have to rush and it doesn't set too quickly. But I do have my fan off because if you have a warmer setting room or temperature around you, then the monomer does help the polymer set quicker. So looking at this finger the next day, I did want to add more of the soft white mix to it. So I am ombre that down again, not building it up too much, but I am building it enough to get some coverage and I will go in and cap that with tones, clear acrylic as well. Coming in with my milk frosted white. I am going over this nail again and I will pick up a white snowflake from my Filmo pack and then I will also cap that in clear acrylic. I am right handed and I know it might be confusing that I'm reaching over to the left side to pick up certain beads, but I also think that that helps me with my bead pickup to where I'm not pressing my hand down too hard into it so i can get the right consistency of what i want for each pickup it is hard for me to do a one ball method i feel like i cannot do a one ball method it's just i don't get a big enough bead so i do add as much as i need to because i rather add and have to add i guess you could say some more because it's easier to add than it is to take away so I just add as many beads as I like to get to where I need to be. Moving on to the next hand, I'm using that beautiful milk frosted white that I created. I love this finger. Honestly, I'm just going to use the Milk Frosted White on this finger. I'm not going to put anything over it other than clear acrylic. And I just love the beauty of this color. Honestly, I did mix that. I really did. I didn't know I was capable of that because it was my first go mixing another white after already mixing two. And I was like, how can I make this one different? But I also still have opaqueness in the white but not screaming white so i'm very in love with this one finger i'm using the same color blue strut from glam and glitz on her pinky now you will see a little hiccup that i made because as i said earlier i'm using glitter bells odorless monomer and with this monomer you do have to set it in order for everything to stay in its place and it will leave sort of a tacky layer that you'll have to foul over but it's really no problem so normally when i do 3d or cutouts i rather not use a craft knife because sometimes your client can be enter their phone or watching the tv that i have in here and so it's just safer and easier to use some nylon thread or you can use dental floss i know some people use dental floss 
but I had to end up working more so with my brush than anything but it still came out looking right so I did want to leave that part in for anybody who's interested in odorless, <laughs> odorless monomer because I want to say that all of those you will have to put in a LED light to cure them for them to fully set I am going to also come in with a, a blue snowflake and add that at the part that I cut out. And then I will go in with Glam and Glitz Wink Wink that is from their blended, from their blend collection. It's a beautiful white. It's not too opaque with the color white. It's more of like a, it's more of like my soft milk frosted white whatever the name is the milk frosted white that i created and it has like some shimmers of silver in it so i will go over the snowflake with that to make it look like it is in a snowstorm or covered in snow Doing a little more 3D work, I am going in with a bead of strut and I will try to make a triangle, I guess you can say. It's like you're trying to make a reverse French, but not going all the way down. And I'm just going to do it into the triangle point and I'm going to take away what I need to take away. Like I said, I have to use my brush more so than anything, but I did want to kind of build up a wall, but not build the nail too much. On the right side of that, I'm going to put in the soft white mix of acrylic. And then on the left side of the color strut, I'm going to use the silver glitter mix. And I'm just going to try to get my lines as perfect as I can with the monomer trying to set as fast as it can <laughs> on the nail.
so i decided to go ahead and cap the color strut and the silver and the white only because i will i will also cap it at the end but it's just to help me build the nail up some more and that way if anything does get on top of anything i can just foul over it and remove it without peeling through my glitter because like i said you'll have to cap this anyway because strut is a design color it is it isn't a core powder the white is the most core powder on this nail and i did add a little bit of clear to it so it has strength but the rest of the nail will not now you see me adding more snowflakes i will add blue to one side and we'll add white on the other okay and as he said i came in with the color wink wink again on the bottom of this <laughs> i didn't have any other color soft enough um that would cover the nail but would also you know let you look through to see that there is no flakes right there so i'm not artistic at all so we tried to add as much snowflakes as possible to this nail set because guys i can't draw to save my life i really can't the only thing i can draw is maybe a couple of eyebrows and i draw those good i really do <laughs> Now coming in to cap the whole nail, just making sure that when I come in with my electric foul, I do not foul off my snowflakes, I do not foul off my glitter. I just want everything to be perfect. So I am going to encapsulate it with Tones Clear Acrylic. Coming into my favorite nail, I am also going to cap it to help build structure. I could have added more of the milk frosted white, but I didn't want it to look too opaque. So I will just be coming in and capping it simply with the tones acrylic as well. this now i am using strut again but on this ombre i'm using strut on the bottom and i will come in with my soft white mix over the top i'm going to use the soft white mix because it is opaque enough to cover the line of the blue strut 
but it's not hard enough well harsh enough to cover the blue as I blend down the nail and over top of the soft white mix that I created I will be using wink wink from glam and glitz to add the little sparkly kind of acrylic flakes for this nail Coming in on her thumb, I am going to use the color Strut from Glam and Gliss. I'm using this color because it will cover up the old design that she had on this finger. I brought the design down as much as possible without breaking off the tip or going too far down to create ring of fire. So I am using the color Strut and I will be using the netting imprint for the first time on this design so keep on watching to see how that turned out for me on my first go So on this finger, I did do a lot with mixing and adding certain whites to it to cover up the bright neon yellow from her previous set. I am going to come in first using soft white, the custom mix that I did make. And then I will be coming in using glitter bells glitter acrylic, and it is named glitter bell. Get your head out of the box, baby. And um, I'm going to be fading that up in an ombre, but I will go over the white again to make it look like some of the glitter bells, glitter acrylic is hiding beneath or behind the powder. I will go in also with milk frosted white to go over top of this nail. And I do believe that I add the color wink wink again to kind of give it some shimmer. And then I will cap the nail to finish it off.
So now I'm coming in with the net. I actually found this net around the house and I just cut it, but I am dipping it into my clear acrylic. As you see, my sister did move her hand and I told her I'm going to talk about you in this video because she was saying that I moved and I told her I'm going to leave this part in so everyone can see that she made the mistake. So I'm going to use my tones acrylic. I'm going to use the top of it. Since I do have an 8.5 ounce of it, I'm dipping my net back into the clear acrylic. And the reason why you do this is because you can get the net and print in it and shimmy it out just fine. So I'm telling her to come closer to me. And I also like to tell people to act like you're trying to make your thumb touch the sky. So I did kind of make a boo-boo with this, but I am going to tap it with my acrylic brush to kind of get things back into place next time i'm just gonna have to make a bigger burial of the color strut but for my first time i don't think it's bad i'm going to come over that with the color wink wink after i do whatever to this now that i finish up with the finishes touches on this now i'm gonna go back over to her other thumb and add wink wink in it and then i will foul and shape off camera So now I'm coming in with the color Wink Wink from Glam and Glitz. And then off camera, I will seal and foul all of these nails. I will also shape off a of camera. So when I come back onto this nail in the next clip, I will be capping it in Tones Clear Acrylic. And then you will also see me do my take on a 3D bow. I'm very upset on how her 3D bow ended up coming out because I did it on myself and mine looked like leaves or triangles and hers came out to the perfect bow. Although I should have left off the circle in the middle in my opinion, but she ended up loving it and that's all that matters. So I am happy about that. So I did leave that part in. Picking up nice size beads from my soft white mix. I am going to do my bow using that. I'm not the best with 3D work, but I did say I would like to practice more and more on each client. So whenever anybody comes in, it does give me a challenge because I always try my best to give my clients what they want. And I'd rather mess up on myself than to mess up on anyone who's paying me for a service. So I'm very happy on how this bow did turn out. After I do the bow, I am going to let her cure this nail into the LED light UV lamp for one minute. And when she comes out, it will be all set and ready. And then I'm going to go in with a gel top coat of my choice. I kind of flip back and forth between gel top coat, so I do not have a favorite at the moment. But I will top coat all of her nails 
And then I will add cuticle oil at the end, which I let that part in. And then I will insert the pictures. And that's all for this white and blue and silver Christmas set. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I do love if you would share my channel with your friends. If you enjoy it, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see or any suggestions or if you have any questions if i have the answer i will leave them down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one